just to really show how much of a nerd my wife is, in the pocket of her jacket was a sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. She's like, oh, what's that doing in there? I'm like, that's a uh, wiener-shaped object inside your pocket. <laughs> What's up? It's fucking freezing. This is yeah. the coldest goddamn day I've ever been out here. It sucks. And it feels like deja vu. I feel like I was just out here yesterday. Oh wait, because I was. I don't. I don't feel like that. Yeah, he, he wasn't out here. We had a decent day yesterday, uh, but hopefully the colder it is, the more money there is. That's my logic. There's some more money right there. Woo! Joey bought this. Joey, right, uh, Joey bought a... Uh, a Game Boy cleaning clit. Kit. <laughs> cleaning <laughs> clit. Right, leave that, in there. that is what I just said. Cleaning <laughs> clit. Uh, cleaning kit <laughs> in the I box. It's kind of cool for two bucks. <laughs> what? You don't know what a clit is. Shut up. I do that with my <laughs> <laughs> Joey brought some odd shit <laughs> to the market today. All, all the games are still in my car. This is the back of his. He brought a bunch of Warhammer, and I think there might be some Dungeon and Dragon stuff in there too. How much was this? A dollar. A buck. There's some painted, some unpainted. A box of rusty knives, and a bunch of movies. So I don't know what we're gonna go into the business of selling now, but it looks scary. This is the money that Joey made at the booth yesterday, and I'm giving it to him on camera so he knows I'm not buying hookers with it again or anything like that. Again. Oh, yeah. sure. but our animals Look guys, there's a ducky and there's a gang of people admiring the ducky. It is pretty yeah, cute though. Right there on the back. The uh, third place winner in our 4,000 subscriber contest decided to uh, donate his $20 prize to the donut fund that Joey started. So uh, <laughs> we're just gonna- Max the Kickstarter? Yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna give uh, the 20 bucks to Max and tell him when he's at Dunkin' Donuts next time, just load up, just bring up a, a mountain of nasty donuts. <laughs> Max, you don't look like uh, James Franco today. Where's your James Franco beanie? What can I say? Yes, I, I just don't want to be a freak or geek. <laughs> You're not as hot today. <laughs> no, Joey won't spend money with us anymore. He's, he's shopping, shop, oh, he's buying Blood Bowl, but he's shopping at the retail chains, buying all the new stuff coming out. I said he should start doing prostitution. I mean, that's a good way to make money. Just ask Joey. Other Joey. That, no, wait, your other Joey. Oh, I just got all screwed up. That Joey. So yes, uh, other Joey's buying the sealed Blood Bowl. And then he asked me how much the pack of cards would be. I said, well, if you just spin five bucks, I'll give you give them to you for free. So, thanks. We have a, uh, a new lady at the booth. This is the first time she's ever been up here. This adds uh, to our list of women visitors. That sounds really bad. Yes, it does. Yeah, well, anyways, it's my wife. She makes me feel cheap. This is my wife, Katie. And uh, she has never been out on a day when we've been filming because she normally, where do you work? I work at Larry Park it's Zoo. I'm a zookeeper. She's a zookeeper and she gets to deal with animals. So, yeah. some of you, this might be your first time meeting her. Um, <laughs> be nice, be polite. Actually, say whatever the hell you want. I really don't care. But, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to uh, say your name Curtis. Curtis. Curtis is a friend of Joey's and he makes cotton candy. And I think we're gonna have cavities now because uh, I'm gonna guess we're gonna be eating some cotton candy frequently. But if you're ever at the wagon wheel and you want some two dollar cotton candy of any of these wonderful flavors, come down and let uh, Curtis roll some pink sugary goodness onto his stick. That sounds weird, but you get the idea. <laughs> Some of you might uh, remember the sword that Joey broke and then had to buy. I thought we were going to get a lot more fun with that. He sold it at the garage sale for $35. Yeah. I thought we were at least going to get to like, chop Max's head off by accident or something. You wouldn't have minded, right, Max? Yeah. Joey is going through every single movie, one by one. I'm remembering each one that I've watched. <laughs> Give it, yeah, giving us, Wesley giving Snipes. us a little review of, does this one suck? Wesley this... Snipes, the tax evader. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Check out this tagline, guys. Volcano. You'll have a hell of a time. As quoted by time. <laughs> <laughs> we are totally taking home Idiocracy. I love that movie. I've probably seen it like, I don't know, five times, and it has so many just awesome one-liners in it. I did a video about these a couple weeks ago. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Protitus sent these to me, the Sweet Home, and 
Earthbound Zero reproduction carts that he makes, and um, he was interested in maybe trying to sell some through the YouTube or through the uh, booth at the flea market. And we're kind of testing them out and seeing if people are interested in them. And some people have been, like Aaron has been interested in the Earthbound. He wants it, but I think we're probably gonna price them around like the 30 to 40 mark because, like I said, you guys make them and paint them and all that kind of stuff. So they're more like little art pieces that you can actually play. Um, but it'll be cool to see if, you know, more people seem to be interested in them. What's up, fam? I miss you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. <laughs> what you drink? You got some purple drink? Oh, Fago, where you at? Oh, oh what? Oh. Fago, are you a juggalo now, Kenneth? Are you Crazy K the juggalo? Is that what I got to call you? <laughs> Katie is going through all of Joey's little figurines he just bought, and that is the weirdest little thing I've ever seen. It's a mo purple mohawked angel wing skeleton holding a chain with like a unicorn horn, and he has blood it coming out. Wow, that's pretty damn heavy metal right there. <laughs> so far, other Joey has been our only customer today. Uh, so that means we've made $12 total. This uh, this might be a, a curse you're putting on this booth right now, lady. What are you doing to us? <laughs> Katie, mo model for us for the booth and get people to come in here. Come on in, buy our games. I don't know why I gave you a southern accent right there, but... <laughs> <laughs> Me and the uh, wife are gonna head over to Aaron's booth real quick while that lovely couple sits here and doesn't sell anything. <laughs> Wait, as we were about to walk away, we oh. sold uh, one game <laughs> from Russia. Seven. Yeah, from Russia with love for what? Five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay. As usual, uh, Aaron is not here and it's left to these guys to sell games, but this is kind of cool. Aaron picked up uh, Ash from Evil Dead, a little head knocker bobblehead guy. Groovy. <laughs> it's very groovy. So Jabroni, we've made I think like $15 so far today. How about you guys? Aaron's made like... Speak louder, there's a redneck country music going on down there. I think that Aaron made like, what, like 45 today, I think? Oh, damn it, he's beating us. More than that, because I made... No, like, you made 20, I made him 25. Well, let's just Less stand 15. here and go back and forth. Made, tie five, ten dollars? Here's Aaron's uh, current stock of, like, really good quality stuff. Here's some sealed Wii games, some sealed 360 stuff. This is all the stuff you went and spent, like, a thousand dollars on. A bunch of Vita and 3DS stuff and... A few decent PS3 titles in there sealed. <laughs> and Josh is very excited about this uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Guess that Pokemon. It's like, guess who? Yeah. You're right, it is guess who. <laughs> Pokemon cards. Oh, and he brought his Pokemon cards. Probably all the best I ever, swear. right? Well, not really. <laughs> These are mine anyway, so I'll just tell them all Kenneth party. wants to know from the audience uh, if anyone would be interested in a spin off show no, no, featuring no, him. No, Wait, no. now you say what you said before. But, like how a family guy, how they had the black guy, and then he has a show called the Cleveland Show. Yeah, spin -off. so it would be the, the Crazy K program. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know. Do you want to see just Crazy K for oh, like, like, like 20 minutes? Me on the show. That's all I want to know. What the hell? These absolute nut jobs are back, and they brought a foot long that they're going to enjoy for us on camera. <laughs> No this is the food eating yeah. episode. We've got like multiple clips. Go for is it. Is this thing fucking recording or what's going on with this? <laughs> I can't tell Gross, Max. What are you doing? Whoa! <laughs> Joey, uh, for some reason, bought a bunch of <laughs> women's basketball cards. They're not actually women's basketball cards. Some of them are. Look, right there. It's totally a chick. That's an NFL player. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. I just had like a eight-year-old kid try to scam me. Uh, he wanted to sell a couple of <laughs> Pokemon, uh, what was it, Sapphire and Ruby? Emerald. Emerald. And um, I'm like, do they save? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we were talking. I grabbed him from him and put him in the, about to put him in the Game Boy Advance. It's like, well, they don't actually save. Well, just save the, the internal batteries dry. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay, well then no, sorry. Well, it wasn't a game sale, but it still counts. There's two bucks in Joey's crotch for a King Kong movie. Yeah, <laughs> like the knockoff version of a King Kong movie. <laughs> Max has abandoned us, and he's now making cotton candy. Way more money in this. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like video games anymore. Video games suck. Oh. Cotton, cotton candy. candy. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> she was, was going to give you a prostate exam while you're bagging cotton candy. <laughs> it's the end of the day, and the only other thing that technically we sold 
Uh, Aaron bought the Earthbound uh, Zero cartridge for the NES. Um, I wasn't really planning on selling it, but I figured to Aaron he, he wanted to check it out. And, uh, so at least we know that there are people interested in them. And uh, we, do you want to mention how much money it was? I mean, in a technical sense, I sold a hundred to Aaron right when I got here. So oh yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. So uh, somewhere in the like hundred and fifty range yeah, or so. It so was a decent day. Um, I guess it's time to say bye then. Yeah. <laughs> One other thing for everyone, it's a uh, jacketception today. I don't know if anyone notices. <laughs> he has multiple jacket layers on. Say bye to everyone, JoJo. See it. Okay, oh, there's Kitty's butt. Say, say bye. No, don't bend over farther. Oh, that's how you're gonna say bye. <laughs> Shake your butt. Scott. Say bye, you traitors. Bye. <laughs> Alright, guys. Peace.